parts of a computer parts of a computer a computer is a collection of various parts that work together this is why it is also referred to as a computer system hardware and software are the two basic parts of a computer with the help of which a computer system works hardware hardware refers to the parts of a computer that we can see and touch they are basically all the electronic electrical and mechanical parts processor is the main hardware part of a computer which is inside a box commonly called cpu some other hardware parts like the hard disk motherboard and memory are also inside the cpu they are not visible to us some hardware parts like monitor cpu mouse and keyboard are visible to us keyboard a keyboard has a number of keys which are arranged in rows or blocks when we type text numbers or symbols by pressing these keys we enter them into a computer let's know about the various keys of a keyboard alpha numeric keys alpha numeric keys are used to type letters and numbers there are 26 alphabet keys arranged in a jumbled manner the leftmost alphabet keys in most keyboards are q w e r t and y thus they are called qwerty keyboards there are 10 number keys from 0 to 9 A numeric keypad also has number keys grouped together in a block like a calculator. It helps to enter the numbers quickly. Special keys. Special keys perform a specific task. Let's know about some special keys. Backspace key. The backspace key is used as an eraser to erase text before the cursor. It also erases the text selected by us delete key the delete key also acts like an eraser it erases text after the cursor it also removes the selected text or item on the screen enter key the enter key is used to type from a new line as we go on typing the cursor moves till the end of the line it then automatically moves to the next line lines are thus added one by one but to move to the next line before reaching the end of the current line we have to press the enter key enter key is also called return key space bar key we use the space bar key to move the cursor ahead by one space this gives space between two letters or words it is the longest key on the keyboard shift key the shift key is used with other keys for different purposes for example we press it with a letter to type it in upper case we also press it with number keys to type the symbols made on them caps lock key we can type capital letters by pressing the caps lock key when the caps lock key is pressed once A light glows on the top right corner of the keyboard. It shows that the caps lock function is on. Any letter we type now will be in upper case. Pressing the caps lock key once more switches it off. Control keys. There are two control keys on the keyboard. When we press them with another key, they perform a special operation. Symbol keys. Symbol keys help us to add punctuation marks and other symbols while typing. Modifier keys. Modifier keys modify the functions of other keys. They are used in combination with the other keys to change their output. For example, we press the shift key with number key 1 to get the exclamation mark as the output. navigation keys navigation keys are used to move the cursor around in a document to see or edit text they include page up page down home 
end and arrow keys. There are four arrow keys used to move the cursor in different directions on the screen. They are also known as cursor control keys. Function keys. There are 12 function keys from F1 to F12. Each function key performs a special task. Activity. Drag and drop the set of keys in the correct place. Well done! Mouse A mouse is a small input device. It is used to point at or select an object on a computer screen. It usually has two buttons. They are left button and right button. Pressing and releasing the left mouse button is called click. When we press the left mouse once, it is called single click. When we press it twice quickly, it is called double click. Clicking the left button once is called click. Clicking the right button once is called right click. Monitor. A monitor is an output device that has a screen. It displays everything we do on a computer like typing words and numbers and making pictures, tables, graphs and charts. We can even watch a film or a cartoon on a monitor. There are three types of monitors. Let's see them and know about them. CRT monitor is big in size, very heavy and occupies lots of space. This monitor is rarely in use now. LCD monitor is not very big in size, not very heavy and occupies less space. The pictures on it are clearer than on CRT monitor. LED monitor is not big in size, not very heavy and occupies less space. The pictures on it are clearer than on LCD and CRT monitors. CPU The central processing unit or CPU is the main part of a computer. It is the brain of a computer. This is where a computer does all its processing work. It is also known as the system unit. Let's see the parts inside the CPU. Motherboard. All other parts of the CPU are connected to the motherboard. SMPS. This device is used to supply power to the computer. Hard disk drive. It stores data permanently inside a computer. RAM. It stores data temporarily inside a computer. Processor. This is the actual processing device of a computer. Let's see the main parts of a processor. ALU carries out all the mathematical and logical operations. CU controls the transfer of information from one part of the CPU to the other. MU stores data in a computer. Activity. Drag and drop the correct names of the parts of a computer. Well done! Printer A printer is an output device. We use it to take printouts of our work on paper. 
modem. A modem connects one computer to the other computers through the internet and exchanges information over telephone lines. CD-ROM CD-ROM stands for Compact Disk Read-Only Memory. It is a storage device of a computer. It stores information outside a computer. We can store a large amount of information in one CD-ROM. Software Software is a set of instructions that perform a specific task on a computer system. Some widely used software are Windows 7 and MS Word. System software and application software are the two kinds of software. Let's know more about them. System software System software is the main software program with whose help a computer runs and performs all its essential tasks. It basically allows the hardware parts of a computer to work together. A computer cannot operate as a single unit without system software. Operating system is the most essential system software. Windows 7 and Windows 8 are two popular operating systems. Application software Application software helps us to perform specific tasks or applications on a computer. Let's see some common application software. Word processing software. We use word processing software to type, edit and format text documents. We can write poems, stories and many other things using this software. Some examples of word processing programs are Microsoft Word, MS Word, Apple Works, and OpenOffice.org Writer. Spreadsheet Software Spreadsheet software is used to enter data in tables. A table consists of rows and columns. MS Excel is a popular spreadsheet software. Database Software Database software is a computer program that stores and manages information or data. Some examples of database software are MS Access and Oracle. Multimedia software Multimedia software help in integration of multiple forms of media such as text, graphics, audio, video and animations. Real Player and Windows Media Player are examples of multimedia software. Computer Etiquette Computer is fun to use. Let's see the correct way to sit in front of a computer. Our entire body should face the monitor and keyboard. The screen should be 18 to 24 inches away from our eyes. We should keep our shoulders and neck relaxed. Our back should be straight with a good lower back support. We should keep our wrist straight while typing and not bend them up, down or to the sides. While typing or using a mouse, our fingers should be kept relaxed. Our thighs should be parallel to the floor. Our feet should be flat on the floor. If the feet cannot reach the floor, we should use a footstool or some footrest. There should be enough space between the desk and the legs. 